We are counting down the days to the big game, just four days left until Super Bowl 56, and we're rooting for our home team to hoist the Lombardi Trophy for the second time in franchise history. Our next guest was quarterback and MVP, the last and only time the Rams won the Super Bowl. We are excited to have Rams legend and NFL Network analyst Kurt Warner joining us. Kurt, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Hey. And we're great. And we're going to talk to you about your uh, partnership with TiVo and what the <coughs> cool things that TiVo is doing. But first, one: the Rams made it to the Super Bowl just a few years ago. They fell short. Something feels different this year. Do you agree? <laughs> is this is this the Rams' year? It definitely does feel different. Um, you know the way that things came together, starting with the big trade from Matthew Stafford, and then you. Uh, you know, bring over Von Miller in the middle of the year and OBJ in the middle of the year. And it just seems like everything has come together for this moment. The game being here in L.A., them playing at home. I mean, so many things have fallen into place. I know as well as, uh, as anybody, though, you still got to play on Sunday afternoons that nothing is given. Uh, we talked about the Super Bowl that I won. It was also one that I lost where we mm. were two touchdown favorites in the Super Bowl. So, um, it kind of feels like everybody's leaning towards the Rams and so many things are going in their favor, but they still got to go out and do their job on Sunday afternoon. But I'm looking forward to the game. I'm looking forward to it being here in L.A. and, uh, and hoping all the stars can come out and, uh, and put their best foot forward in the game. Yeah. And, Kurt, your story is regarded as one of the greatest stories in NFL history. You were undrafted. You famously came out of the Arena League and then became a legend, uh, Super Bowl MVP. And when you think about Matthew Stafford, a much different journey, right, to the NFL, number one overall draft pick. Have you had the chance to talk to him? And if you did, what kind of advice do you give? Because you always hear about what it's like in that moment. Very few people know it, but you do. You know, I did get a chance to talk to Matthew this week. And, you know, when I talk to anybody about this game and this moment, the piece of advice I give them is that uh, you have to understand that in every game, even in the big games, that there are ebbs and flows. There's highs and lows in every game. And you've got to be able to ride that wave. Too often when you get to this moment and, you know, you understand, you know, what's at stake here. Uh, you know, something goes against you and you, you panic a little bit and you try to do too much. Um, you know, in the Super Bowl that we won back in 99, we were up 16 to nothing, and then we found ourselves tied 16 to 16 late in the game. So you've got to be able to weather the highs and lows and the momentum shifts within the game. And usually the team that does that the best is the team that comes out on top or at least gives themselves a chance late in the game. And so that, to me, is always the advice for these guys is don't panic. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, both quarterbacks, Matthew Stafford's been great in the playoffs. We saw – up 27 to three and all of a sudden it's tied 27 27 and he makes that play to catapult them to the championship so those are the kind of moments that really define quarterbacks and define these games and so it's something that i'll be looking forward to and i think these guys especially matthew stafford and the quarterbacks have to handle kurt your uh, jessica talked about it but your personal story uh is, is so inspiring you know when you were cut from the packers early in your career you work as the night shift clerk at, at the high V. You, you, you've done so many things to fight to get to where you are, all of it on the big screen now in, a, in a, a film called American Underdog. Did you ever think when you started this journey that, that it would end like that, that you would end up on the big screen, MVP of the league and the Super Bowl? Well, you, you know, you always dream, uh, not necessarily about a movie, but you dream about winning the big game and being the MVP and and all of those things, I'm going to Disney World, all of those things. But, I mean, it has been incredible. When you're going through the journey, you're oftentimes asking, okay, why me? Why do I have to do this? And why do I have to play in arena football? Why did I have to be the one that was cut? Uh, but then you get to this point, and you see it from the, you know, the other side, uh, and you have a movie made about it, and you see people being touched by your journey and people being able to connect to your journey. And um, it's just been incredible how it's all played out. Uh, I'm so fortunate. I'm so blessed in so many different ways. And uh, you talked about it being, you know, maybe a special season. Maybe, you know, you got American Underdog where mm -hmm. it finishes the movie with us winning the championship as part of the Rams. Maybe that's part of uh, this whole entire journey that it comes out right now. And maybe the Rams are about to, uh, to do that once again. That would be great. And Kurt, you're working with TiVo. Tell us about the partnership between you two. 
yeah, we know that that streaming is really taking over the world, right? You're streaming from all these different networks, your favorite movies, your favorite TV shows. Um, but if anybody's out there like my wife, who, who has all these streaming services and she never knows where her favorite shows are. So TiVo has created the TiVo Stream 4K. One device connected to your back of your TV and all of your streaming services can be housed under one search engine. So you know what movie you want to watch? You're a football fan, you want to watch American Underdog? You type it in the top of the search engine, it'll pull it from whatever streaming service is carrying that. Um, you know, it's a smart device, so if you like football movies, it's going to give you the suggestions like you always want, no matter what the streaming service is. And so the uh, TiVo Stream 4K, one device, $29.99. Go to TiVo.com or Amazon to find out more about that. And we're also kicking off Super Bowl weekend with a special watch party of American Underdog a live cooking show. If you want to find out more about that to lead you into maybe a Rams victory on Sunday, you can go to blog.com or blog.tivo.com and find out more. Excellent. Kurt, we always enjoy speaking with you, sir. Have a great weekend. Yeah. All right. You guys enjoy the weekend. Go Rams. All right. Yep, thanks. For information on TiVo Stream 4K, you can go to tivo.com. And again, thanks to Kurt Warner.